Uh, let's start with the architect of West Indies' downfall on day one, and that's our Ashwin. Uh, didn't get to play uh, that WTC final, has so often not got to play in away games, uh, but comes back into the team and does what he does. Test match five first seem like breakfast for him. Absolutely. I mean, listen, uh, that was a bit of a kind of a surprise. Uh, the finals of WTC, I thought he should have been a part of the team and uh, not just me, a lot of people thought as much. Uh, having said that, listen, uh, the, the difference in class in terms of uh, the bowler that Ravi Chandran Ashwin is and the batter was quite evident. Uh, it, 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 was, it, it was absolutely brilliant again. Uh, coming back, uh, after all the disappointment, I'm sure he would have been extremely disappointed not being part of the final. Uh, but then leaving all those uh, disappointments behind and uh, being a thorough professional, came in and, and did what he does uh, so well and has been doing over the years. The number that to me tells so much more about Ashwin uh, Deep is that this is also the 23rd time that he's removed both the openers. Today was another instance of uh, an, an opponent's opener seeing out the Indian pace attack. But Ashwin enters, gets the Asian Narayan Chandrapal, gets Greg Brathwaite shortly thereafter. Mm -hmm. Speaks volumes of a quality of a bowler, of a spinner to come in and remove openers when they are seemingly looking set. Yeah, um, uh, listen, if you look at uh, his record with the new ball, I guess it's one of the best going around, including fast bowlers. I mean, because he's so good at it and he's so used to it as well. I mean, at home, uh, very, very often we've seen him uh, bowling with that new ball. Uh, and he's got all the variations. He obviously uh, is very, very lethal with that new ball, especially against the left-handers because he does get the ball to turn a bit. But uh, uh, like he got, uh, uh, you know, Tej Narayan in this game, uh, getting the ball to uh, uh, carry on with the angle. So, I think he knows how to use that new ball uh, and he does it so well and uh, not surprised at all. Listen, I wasn't surprised at all uh, with that performance from uh, Ravi Chandran Ashwin. Yeah, and just to just to add to what you said about Ashwin with the new ball, that's the 53rd time he's got the first wicket to fall in a test innings. And among all Indian bowlers, you add pacers in it as well. There's only a couple, Dev and Zaheer Khan, who've done so more often. That it, it, is Ashwin. Exactly. That, that, that's him. That's him. And again, I mean, just to elaborate on, on not, just, not just him bowling with the new ball, but also the variations, the pace... A uh, variation in pace and the others that he's got bowled a few carom ball, uh, bowl that uh, you know the slider as well. So uh, he's he's got so much in his armory and he knows how to use it as well. It's it's one thing to have those skill sets, but knowing when to use it. I mean, there is. I mean, he's he's one of the modern day greats. He's uh, obviously when he finishes his career, he'll end up being one of the greatest ever. Now let's look at that West Indies batting uh, performance. One name uh, stood apart, and that was the debutant in Halik uh, Athanas, who compiled 49, looked steady, was a good mix yeah. of caution and aggression. Uh, what did you make of uh, Athanas's first go at this level? He, he looked solid. He looked composed, like you said. And uh, the fact that, you know, you uh, he, he was the only batter, I think, uh, and that partnership with Jason Holder was the only time that West Indies looked like you know, uh, uh, they they would pose any kind of threat uh, to the Indian bowlers. So that that was the only pair, to be honest. And uh, he definitely looked very very good. Uh, not just the skill set, both attacking and defensive, was very solid in defense. One of the things we uh, uh, we tend to overlook is is the defense, the defensive technique, and especially in this format, it is so so vital to have a really good defensive technique. And it seems like uh, you know. He definitely has a very good defensive technique. And apart from that, obviously, scoring areas and scoring shots would always be there, especially a player of this generation. Uh, but also the temperament, uh, picking up the right, you know, deliveries to play his shots, the shot selection, everything else. Unfortunate, in, uh, in fact, the ball that he got out to, the shot I thought was on, obviously, execution-wise, uh, didn't, uh, didn't happen for him. Uh, but I thought, you know, there's something that uh, uh, should excite the West Indies uh, cricket fans. Uh, would you would you say it was an innings that was made to look even better by uh, the ineptitude of uh, some of the batting around him? Yeah, some of the other uh, uh, batting was ordinary, and I'll be very uh, you know uh, forgiving if I say ordinary uh, because uh, there was nothing much there. The top four five batters, it's it's just 
been you know it's it's quite disheartening as well to see see the approach and way listen they they are all good players because they have scored runs in the past but that consistency i mean that's something that that is lacking and and that's something that's bothering him so you know let's say out of the four innings you'll have you know the top 5 6 uh them scoring uh, maybe one in one innings and all but that consistency of you know getting those big scores and 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 piling up those runs that's not there and that's because i, I don't know lack of application lack of uh, temperament some of the shots that were played i mean was quite quite um, you know average or even below average to be honest a quick comment on uh, ishan kishan uh, got his debut uh, the catch was first day in the office yeah yeah the catch was good uh, obviously uh, uh, the the stump mic was <laughs> the volume was pretty high so it was uh, quite i mean he was also quite chatty behind the stumps and 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 it's good i mean he was having fun it seemed like he was having fun and uh, and and yeah steady steady performance as you said i thought the catch was really good behind the stumps yeah and speaking of uh, steady debutants yeah we got a good look at yashas vijay as well uh, hopefully a lot more to come on day 2 uh, but in this initial phase uh, india getting to 80 for no loss in the 23 overs they batted uh, and jaswal uh, didn't seem troubled at any phase of these 20 odd overs he wasn't and listen he looked extremely comfortable uh, obviously i mean if you think about it uh, he got off the mark after what 16 deliveries so obviously he he showed a lot of uh, you know calmness out there which is uh, i mean it's it doesn't come easy for a debutant i can tell you this much i mean you really want to get off the mark uh, in your international on your international debut and but he he looked calm he looked collected and uh, two extremes the you know the the first run after 16 odd deliveries and also the last over uh, last over he played a reverse sweep uh, second ball he stepped out uh, when you know you generally you would expect the batters to play for the end of day and in you know, a last over just see through that uh, i mean that just says a lot about him uh, uh, and and his approach so yes uh, everything whatever we we've, we've seen of him on day 1 uh, is, is was very very good i mean temperament technique approach you name it and and it was there uh, and and you could see that he's got it